Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as network security, right? So this is your part three of your tutorials of network security. So in part one, we have discussed about the in general networks and in general security. Then in part two, we have discussed about attacks. So now you know what is attacks, right? So attacks, again, we have two types of attacks. We have uh, active attacks and we have passive attacks, right? <clears throat> now, so if you talk about attacks, right, if, you, if, you, if your message is getting tampered, if your message is getting modified, it comes under active. If your message is just by, if somebody is uh, spying you, it's, if somebody uh, checking your mails, it all becomes a passive attack, right? So we know about attacks now, we know about passive, we know about active, again we have certain types, so that everything is uh, attacks. Now, if we talk about all these attacks, there are some, we have to use some tools, right? So we, we, we have to use some tools. Now, the, one of the very famous tool you might be knowing is something called as virus. Now, question arises, what is virus? Now, see, if we talk about virus in IT world or virtual world, it's same like virus in the real world. So you might, you know about uh, this virus, right? Uh, you have uh, bacteria, you have all these viruses in your body. So when you get, uh, when you get fever, when you have cold, so it's all because of those virus, right? So you, you eat those street foods, you eat those, uh, uh, bad water so it, it, it leads to you have you have some viruses in your body right in the same way if we talk about computer your computers get affected it's all because of your viruses now question is what is virus see in IT world you have two things you have a hardware you have a software right so if you talk about a hardware hardware is something like you have a, a physical entity you can touch software is something it's virtual everything is virtual now those virtual things they can be used for normal purpose or that virtual thing can be used for malicious purpose. So there's, there, that's why we have a term called as malware. So we have a term called as malware. So what is malware now? Now basically when you talk about malware, it's malfunctioning software. So one of the full form of malware is malfunctioning software. Or second full form we can go for is malicious software. What is malicious software? Any software which affects your system or uh, every software is made for a specific purpose. So if you don't have a specific purpose for the software, it becomes a malfunctioning software. You wanted a certain behavior, but you are getting some different behavior. Malfunctioning. Or you're getting a software which will affect your system. Malicious software. Okay, so in this malicious software, one of the part of malicious software is called as virus. Now what is virus? It's a small code, depends, small code or small code. So it's all depends upon the depth of the virus. If your virus is small virus, small code, big virus, big code, more, biggest virus, biggest code, right? But sometimes this small code will affect your computer in large way. Sometimes big virus can affect your computer in small way. It's all depends upon the impact, right? So when you talk about virus, it's not the length of the virus. It's about the impact, right? So if you're getting a big virus, like if you're, if that virus is able to delete all your system, big attack, right? But the problem is if you don't have any files in your system, what do you do to delete, right? And but let's suppose there is a there is a virus which will just remove one file of your system, and that one file is your banking detail. Right? So it's not about how big virus is. The, what matters is impact. Okay. So if we talk about this virus, uh, See, you, you, you have, you might have this experience, you know, when you buy, when you get, get a pendrive of your friend, right? Let's suppose uh, if your friend has a movie uh, transformer and you want to watch that movie now on your computer. So if you don't get that movie, you will go to his home and you will, you will attach his, your, your pendrive to his computer and you will download those movies or if you, you, will, you will copy those movies in your pendrive. But the problem is, there are some chances that that pendrive will have some virus. If that computer is affected with virus, your pen drive will get affected with virus. If your pen drive get, get affected with virus, that pen drive will come to your computer. And when you attach that pen drive to your computer, it will affect your computer. But let's suppose that computer is meant or that virus is meant to attack your, your system, you know, hardware. The problem is when you attach a pen drive, you will not see any impact. You will not see any impact. Okay. So done. Okay. You will not see any impact. Right? So give me a second. Just try to be sure, right? 
So, you will not, so... <laughs> Sorry for the disturbance, right? So we have some disturbance in my office. So come back. So we're talking about uh, yeah, virus, right? So when you when you attach your uh, pen drive to that computer, the problem is there are some chances that uh, pen drive virus will affect your computer, but you will not see the impact at the, that time. Question is why? It's because let's suppose this is your virus. So we have this small virus with some uh, some weird type of virus. And this is your computer, and this virus is trying to affect your computer now. But the problem is, by default, our system is secure. If you talk about Windows, I know Windows is not secure, but still, imagine Windows is secure. If you have Windows, if you have Linux, if you have Macintosh, doesn't matter which OS you use. They are, they are like we have some level of security. Let's suppose I have some security here. If in order to in order for this virus to attack your computer, they have to pass this this wall or you can say a firewall or you can say of antivirus the problem is your antivirus is big your virus is small if that time if this virus attacks your computer antivirus will stop it okay antivirus will try to kill it example if virus comes antivirus will take a gun and will shoot what i want as, as a virus if i'm a virus i will go there i will check the impact i will check the security. If your system is very secure with antivirus, I will wait. If your system is very vulnerable, I will attack. What if your system is safe? I still want to attack, right? So what I will do? Let's suppose I am the virus, I am coming here, I want to attack your system. So what I will do? I will check the impact. You have this big security. I have to bypass this security now. Now how will I attack? I, will I, I attack? am only one, right? And this is the huge file, or this is the huge antivirus. So what I will do, I will come to your system and there will be a, some there will be some file, okay, and I will get attached this file. Let's suppose this file is nfs.exe. Let's suppose you, you normally play games. So this file is your nfs.exe. So in order to play NFS, you have to click back NF, uh, exe, right? So let's suppose if I'm getting attached, so this is my virus, this is virus, it's getting attached to this file. This is your nfs.exe. And you have this habit of playing games. So what I will do, I will get attached to this exe and every time a user clicks on this NFS, I will create one more replica of my virus. So one more virus. So now I have two virus. This virus will get attached to some different file. Let's like suppose word.exe. So we have one more, one more file. So this virus will get attached to this file. Okay, so if somebody clicks on word.exe, I will get attached to, or it will create one more virus, and this will get attached to this file, right? So what I'm doing, I'm increasing my dominance. Okay, so I'm I'm increasing the, I'm creating the replicas. So why I should have, a, I should attack as alone? What I will do, I will create my army, and I will attack that system, right? So this is a, this is what virus do, and when you have a virus in your system, it doesn't mean it will not harm you. It will harm you. In you know at some point of time, so initially it will create a dominance. It will it will create replicas, and once you get the all these replicas, it will attack your system. Boom. Okay. So so what that's that's how virus works. Okay. So if we talk about this virus, how virus goes into different phases. So basically, when I talk about virus, uh, so. Virus goes in four phases. So first phase of virus is called as dormant phase. It's dormant phase. Second phase is propagation. Propagation phase. Next uh, phase is your triggering phase. And last one. And the last phase is execution. Now what it means? Dormant means it's, it is the initial stage. Once you get a pen drive and that pen drive a virus, it will attack your system, right? It will come to your system that is dormant phase. Second is replication. Propagation means replication. It will create multiple replicas. Then it will go into triggering stage. Okay, so it will, once it is, once it thought, you know, yeah, I have the power, it will try to attack your system, triggering system. And last one is execution. It will be a boom. Once the virus gets into execution stage, your system is corrupted. It's everything, you know. 
it can delete your files, it can delete your application, it will make your system unstable. That is your execution phase. So it will start with dormant phase, then it will go to propagation phase, then it will go to triggering phase, and last one it will go for execution phase. Okay. So these are the phases of viruses. Now next we'll talk about types of viruses. So we have some types of viruses. So let me list it down. The first type of virus is called as parasitic virus. So first is parasitic virus. So first one is parasitic virus. Second type of virus is memory resident virus. Third type of virus is your boot sector virus. And fourth one you have is your stealth virus. Stealth virus. Then fifth, fifth one you have polymorphic. Then you have metamorphic. Now what it means? So you have six type of virus, right? So we have six type. One is parasitic. Second type of virus is memory resident. Then we have boot sector virus. Then we have Tell the virus, then we have polymorphism, and then we have metamorphic. So we'll start with the first one, which is your parasitic. Now this type of virus get attached, attached to a file. So you know what is parasite? It's a living thing which resides on other living things. So the same way, parasitic virus is a virus which depends upon different files. So it will get attached to different files. Then we have memory resident file. Now what is memory? Here memory means main memory. It's not your hard drive, it's not your pen drive. This type of memory is called as main memory it's your ram so this type of virus they will attack ram directly they will attack the ram so that any application comes to your ram it will attack then we have boot sector now what is boot sector when you start your system when you start your system the first file of execution is your boot file okay maybe inf file so it will when you start your computer it will affect the, it will execute the boot file and that boot file resides on the boot sector so there will be an area in your hard drive uh, in which you will be having all the boot files and that area or that sector is called as boot sector. If virus attacks that boot sector, everything gone. You know, you can, you will feel your system is corrupted and you know, when you, when you're on your computer, that, that virus will affect your boot sector and you will get an error. We cannot, uh, we cannot load windows because it is corrupted. So, that's your boot sector. Then we have stealth virus. Now, stealth virus is like, uh, they are smart. Like, if you know how virus, how antivirus detect virus, it's every virus will have a behavior, and that behavior is called as signature. If that signature is registered with the antivirus, so will antivirus will check your system for that particular behavior because every virus will have a unique behavior. So if antivirus find that behavior, it will try to stop it. But what if your virus is so smart? When antivirus try to scan, it will stop the behavior. Skip, right? So, they are smart. Those stealth virus are smart. Now, polymorphic virus, they are smarter. Now, what do you do? They change their signatures. Every time they change your signature. If like, if first they are giving this signature, antivirus scans, they change their signature. Next time they change the signature. Every time they change their behavior. This is polymorphic. You know what, what is polymorphic? It's like, one object different behavior, so like polymorphic. Then we have metamorphic. They are like, it seems like polymorphic, but they change their signature, but they also rewrite the code. So you, you have to write the new virus. So this virus will write the new virus. So you might be, you know, might be knowing about that movie, Robot, Rajnikanth movie. So in that movie also, one robot create different robots, right? The same way, this type of virus create different type of virus. So this, these are the types of viruses. Okay, so cool, right? So this is the type of virus. For, uh, yeah, so that's for the, this video. For in next video, we'll talk about worms and trojans. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any doubts, please comment and do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much.